Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My name's Julie Wilson and I'm part of the Chester campus team. Building church here in Chester at the minute is amazing. We're having such a fantastic time. God's moving in people's lives. We're hearing testimonies. We're seeing the wonderful things that God's doing. And it's such a privilege to be able to build church here in Chester and serve the people of Chester and North Wales. Um, I'm going to be speaking a little bit today about the idea of authority and the authority that Jesus gives to us in our daily lives. And I wanted to read, first of all, from 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, and it says, But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over these people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. And wow, what an incredible verse, what an amazing promise right there. Um, and this verse to me speaks all about authority and it's saying that we have the authority here on earth. We're not like Jackie Weaver who doesn't have any authority here, but we do have authority and the authority comes from Jesus. Um, and as part of our Christian walk and our Christian faith, understanding our authority in Jesus is foundational to everything. We need to know we've got it because otherwise we don't know that we can use it. And it reminds me of a couple of years ago when I once got my winter coat out of the closet that had been hiding in there after, you know, those four days of summer that we'd had that year. And the weather turned and I needed to get my coat back out and I got it out and put my hand in the pocket and I got that best surprise, that best feeling of when you put your hand in your pocket and you find that five pound note that had been in there for years and you didn't know it was there. And all of a sudden you've got something in your hand that you can do something with, that you can spend, that you didn't know that you had five minutes ago. And Jesus' authority is a little bit like that. Until you know that you've got it and until you know its value, you don't know that you can use it and you don't know that it's available for you. But good news today, we do have authority and that authority comes straight from God, which is just incredible. It's an incredible concept. So what does it mean then? So authority means delegated power or official permission. And it's power granted to us by the very person who actually has the power. And that's amazing when you understand that for us as Christians, that God of the universe is the power behind that authority. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? And that's an amazing thing to get your head around because it just changes our whole perspective. It changes everything that we think, everything that we say, everything that we pray. Just knowing that we have this authority, it just changes everything. It flips our world. And when we're facing situations and battles and challenges, um, that we will do. Being a Christian, it never said, the Bible never says that being a Christian would be easy. But what it does say is that it will grant us authority to be able to deal with situations. But furthermore, it says that when we are tra facing trials and tribulations, we have got somebody with us. We've got the Holy Spirit and we've got all the power of heaven with us so that we can face things and face things well. So our battle should be with the knowledge that we already have authority over that exact thing that is coming against us right now. And why is that? Well, it's because when Jesus died on the cross, he was buried and then he rose again and he defeated the enemy at that point and he won the victory right there. And when we accept Jesus into our lives, we receive that authority and we inherit the name of Jesus that is above every name and above everything. So what it means is when we are facing trials, tribulations, challenges in our lives, that we can face them head on with a battle cry and with a victory shout, knowing that the victory is won. Um, there was never a promise in the Bible about a time that we would see the victory in our circumstances and the situation. There's no timeline on it. But what we do have is a confidence and a knowledge that we have authority over those situations and those circumstances so we can face them fearlessly and head on. 
Jesus dying for us, it wasn't only about our eternity and our authority, but it was also about our freedom on earth. And by not knowing our authority in God, we don't know what we can do. And instead, we sometimes can let circumstances weigh us down and we can feel in bondage. But in Galatians 5, it says that it was for freedom that Christ set us free. And until we walk in the authority of Jesus, we walk in chains and we do not walk in this freedom. And that is not what God wanted for us. He wanted us to live free lives. He wanted us to live in love and in hope and with that passion in our hearts that we can change our circumstances. And knowing this as well, it changes the way that we pray. I mean, instead of praying for a victory, we pray from a place of victory and it flips it all on its head. And we can start to declare things and call things because the promise has already been given and the promise of victory is already there. So therefore, when we're praying, we can declare that we have got a promise from God. We have got this authority that runs in our lives that we can say, in Jesus' name, let this circumstance be changed. In Jesus' name, I will see this in my lifetime. And that is such an incredible promise to us. It's making claim to our inheritance as sons and daughters of God. And as I keep saying, once we recognise this truth, it flips everything for us in our lives and we can pray with confidence, knowing that the victory is already won. And so today, I just pray for us today in our circumstances, in our sphere of influence, that we would learn to move forwards from a position of authority and through that knowledge that we can have impact on our worlds and, our, and the people in our lives. So right now, if we can all just think about that one thing in our lives that might be a challenge, a circumstance, something that you want to change, something that you want to see God moving in, something that God's maybe spoken to you about this year, about something that you're going to do or change or challenge. We've all got that something in our lives that we would like to see God move in. And I'd just like us to think about that right now and decide that today we're going to pray about that circumstance differently and that we're going to declare life into that circumstance and we're going to declare all God's authority over that circumstance in our life. And I am believing in these next weeks and months that we're going to see breakthrough in these areas and that as we start to declare and as we start to claim God's promise over these things, that we're going to see a, a huge change. Um, so thank you um, for having me today. And um, I just want to pray for us as we leave. Father God, I want to thank you for Audacious Church and the people of Audacious Church, Lord. And I pray today in Jesus' name that we will learn to use your authority, Father that when we say to the mountain to be moved, that we will know in faith that it will be moved in Jesus name. Amen. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and hopefully see you sometime really soon. Bye.